Greetings all. Let's see, it looks like volume is working. Uh, what's not working? Dragon Cam's not working. Oh well, we'll leave it. Easy keys are not working. There we go, fix that. Got the wrong server name. There we go. All right, should be good to go. Uh, let me get what's my jigger flow floating on top. See that I just brought up the uh, chronicle, so I'm just looking through it real quick before I start. DD Wiki has a website update. Dog, stay away from my chips. Night Revels arrives on Wednesday, which I can talk a little bit more about that because I played that on Friday. Some of you may have watched that. New DDO stores here. DDO stream team takes over the weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream. Okay. Night Revels preview with Tolero on YouTube. Plus two loot starting on Thursday. DDO is going to master manual slayers boost more. Oh yeah, the free stuff in the DDO store if you don't already have it. And someone said something about uh, downtime tomorrow. Which I did not see yet. Uh, 8 to noon tomorrow. I see. So it's... Night Revels will come up when the world's reopen. It's a hot fix, improved critical. Actually works with unarmed. Heavy armor worked on Warforge. Some Night Revels fixes, and that's about it. Okay. So yeah. New sections taken care of. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on in the LFM world here on T Land. Oh, yay. It's kind of what I wanted. So I've gotten back into the uh, whole grind thing. As my other characters really weren't progressing much, and I started just popping on. Oh, this is a ghost LFM. Both of them are ghost LFMs. That's awesome. Oh, well. Um... I've actually been, if I get up early enough in the morning, then before work I'll log on and see what the LFMs are like. And if something strikes me as basically anything in the daily grind rotation, then I will join it for one or two runs and just get a bit of XP. Mostly on my bard, but I also did my rogue a little bit, and I'm here on var, my sorcerer. Uh, just to see what I can possibly do, but I'm not going to solo this stuff if nothing's up. I was hoping there'd be LFMs up, and I could just join those. Because I kind of just want to do the grind and relax and not think too much. I've done this quest so many times that it's just automatic anymore. But, at the moment, there's really no LFMs for the stuff I want to do. It's disappointing. So Night Revels, yeah. Um, had fun playing it. I really like the Snitch remix. That's the highlight of it for me. Um, the Explorer area isn't too bad. 
gets a little crowded here and there sometimes, but other than that, it's not bad. Uh, let's see if there's a quest I can just jump in. What even level am I? Am I in Legendary Dreadnought on a Sorcerer? What the heck am I doing? Ah, trying to get over to Primal. That's what I'm doing. I did get all those done, yep. Oh, excuse me. Sure. I really can't get up any further in this tree. That's annoying. Alright. What level am I? No, I'm capped. So you'd think there'd be something I could do. Why is my... Social panel not opening. Okay, here we go. I haven't done Neville's Gambit on this yet, so I'll do that. I'm going to go this way. So, yeah, Night Revels was enjoyable in a group. Um, we had fun doing that. Jesus, where I am. There I am. Uh, See, so yeah, I was fun in the group, and uh, it was nice, just casual slayers bit. And. Uh, And Haverdasher was fun. Um, the Snitch was awesome. Uh, Kobold's New Ringleader was okay. And what was the other one? It was okay as well. But did get through those on Friday. Didn't get any gear, but got a feeling for how it worked and all that. And I guess I still have my keys. Um... I don't know about my other stuff. So that was fun. And then in personal news, we are up to six rats now. I think last week I mentioned our newest rat. Well, we got two more on Sunday. They're tiny. Well, they're not tiny, but they're pretty small. They're young. We've been wanting some younger ones so they can get used to us early on and all that. Hey, Titan. So, yeah. Hey, Cordovan. How's it going? So, we have two new young rats that are already in the cage with one of our older rats, so that's good. Unfortunately, we also had an incident where um, that newer rat, the older newer rat, uh, bit our other rat, so drew blood. That was pretty traumatizing for us. He's he seemed to be freaked out as well, so we're still sep he's still out of the loop for a while. We're keeping him separate until he can probably get snipped so he can be less aggressive. Hate to have to do that to him, but we just can't uh, have him doing that. Oh, it's this one, okay. Do I need on here? Or I should click that. And I'm going to go ahead and do that if I haven't already. I think I'm ready to go. Uh, otherwise, cats are doing fine, dogs are doing fine, dragons are doing fine. the elementals, that's right. Let's see. 
fire. I love when I have spells that aren't inscribed, that I think are. Yeah, I don't want to do E full of truth. I don't even think I'm flagged on this character for that. Hey, city. How's it going? This is one of the neatest things they've done, I think. I just love the uh, illusionary boxes. They're pretty awesome. Not bad, not bad. Had a frustrating day at work. And then uh, the highlight of my day was somebody handing me a VI instruction manual. Uh, that was funny. Actually, it was a quick reference card, I should say. Quick reference pamphlet, maybe it would be a better way to describe it. But it was officially dated and had what, Rice University or something on it. It was, I was amused by it. Like here, take this. You might need it. Oh, that's fun. It's one of those days of testing where things just don't go well. There's errors, you don't know why there's errors, just things aren't working that should be, all that fun stuff.
moment to heal myself. Maybe. Really? What did you first experience do? Hmm. Interesting. Ouch, that sucks. Rest a minute. Yeah, PC without a graphics driver isn't that useful, unfortunately. At least for gaming and such. Alright, 
Let's see what I can do here about buffing back up. Those are all my buffs. Hey, look. Just in time to uh, have it all be done. Wish you luck with that. That doesn't sound like fun. Heart seeds. There it is. on that person, or bot, I should say. Gather my seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I have feather fall somewhere. Oh well, that just hurt. I want to be right there. Let me go there. Oh, I got turned around. Yeah, I used to enjoy doing all that stuff, and anymore, I just want my technology to work. It's not as fun for me as it used to be. Speaking of which, I actually broke down and, well, I knew I was going to get an iPod for work because I really wanted to listen to music while working. And, uh, so I got an iPod, went to the store in the mall. Then I got uh, went ahead and got an iPad, so I have an iPad Mini 2 now. Been wanting, kind of wanting one for a while, and I finally went ahead and got one. So, so far all I have is Eclipse for it. I'm not really sure what else to get on it. Um, I went through the uh, things that are on sale. I got an app for that. And 
Craigslist app and a couple other little things, but haven't really got any major anything major for it yet. It's been an interesting difference. There are things that make no sense to me at all and things that work really well. So I had two previous Android tablets that were uh, what I was used to. So it's definitely been different. The aspect ratio is completely different. The way it feels in the hands is different. And, you know, all that fun stuff. What is he not immune to? They're all immune to that. So that's not doing me any good. This is just a lifetime. So I got a bunch of board games that I've been wanting to play on my wish list to get there, but so far I haven't seen too much that uh, I need to buy immediately. I didn't do anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang. Let's see, it was up here. Which side was it on? This side. I am enjoying my iPod though. I got uh, one of the black iPod Nanos. And uh, yeah, it works really well. I can put my shirt pocket at work and listen to it. Oh, yeah, so while we're in the store, I tried some headphones that I really want, but they were more expensive than the iPad. <laughs> yeah. Pretty ridiculous. They were the uh, Bose Quiet Comfort 25s, which are amazing in that they cut out. They have um, noise cancellation, and boy, do they cut out! Because you know, I was, we were in a busy store in a busy mall, and there's all that stuff happening, and. Uh, Oh, crap, I would have wanted that. Oh, well. Too late now. I would have liked the Epic Lock and Loaded. Anyway, yeah, it was $300 for those headphones, and uh, they were Bluetooth and 
recorded both. You could switch back and forth. They had the active noise cancellation, which was, I mean, even with the volume of the music really low, you really couldn't hear all that roar of the crowd and everybody doing stuff around you, which are perfect for when I need to go and just concentrate on my code at work, you know? But, ouch. The price. The price sucked hard. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about headphones in general that are wireless is that they run out of battery, right, when you don't need them to. Basically. Oh, here we go. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I see spies up and ready, and that's what I'm going to do. But they would be handy. Um, not that I need wireless, but that would be handy too. Just as an additional feature to have. It's the wrong way, isn't it? So, right now I'm just using some cheap ones. I think I got free. Just took them into work and I've been using those. And they're fine. But occasionally I need to turn the volume up because people are loud next to me and such. So it'd be really nice to be able to just put those headphones on, engage the noise cancellation. And my own little world. Be able to concentrate and what not. So yeah, looking forward to getting something. I looked on Wirecutter and there's a couple options that are half that price or less, which are much more reasonable. I'll look more seriously at. The problem with headphones is that you really need to try them on, I feel. Because I'm going to be wearing them for however many hours a day. Could be wearing it for eight hours a day. And uh, it takes the right kind of headphones for that to last that long. Alright, I've got Featherfall somewhere. Where the heck is my Featherfall? Ah, boots. That's where the Featherfall is on the boots. Made it barely. Thought I cast jump on myself, did I not? Well, now I have it for sure. Oh, this trap's gonna suck, isn't it? I don't have farm. Oh no, I have rock boots. That's right. I have rock boots. Worry about any of that. It's already up to Necromancer. Whoa. Bad jump. So, yeah, those headphones are. And it would be nice to have, but not likely that I'm going to get those. No problem, City. Just running through some spies. I feel like slightly bad about banning that group, but I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah. I hate the phone. I really do. Because it's really rude. Somebody expects you to answer. 
and then talk no matter what's going on. Nope. I was questing last what was where was I doing? Yeah, I was questing last night. And I got a call. Spent a half hour or whatever talking while I was questing. Sometimes that's okay to do, and sometimes it's really difficult to actually concentrate on both. Boots on, feather fall. I don't know where to do that. Let's see, where's lightning resist? Whoa! Oh, I actually made it up all the way. That's cool. Yeah. There are times when I can, and sometimes I just, I have to concentrate on what I'm doing. There are times when I play, you know, minimalist music or classical or something, and just concentrate on what I'm doing. I was doing pretty good damaging without my rock boots on. Do I have an alternative source of that? Oh, I almost got the skip. Um, dog, you're being annoying. You're growling in your sleep again. Wake up, dog. You're growling. Woohoo, dots. They are all about me still. <laughs> yeah. He must have done something like that. He does that once in a while. Just cast the stupid spell. Oh my god. Still got used to the targeting sometimes. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm experiencing. Let's see, I have to eat or don't I? On three next.
again. Uh, See, where do I want to go? Over this way. Let's check the stream quality real quick. Uh, it looks fine for my end at the moment. Hopefully that was just a transient network issue or something. And we'll clear up. Oh, I lost my chat. Hold on. No. Yeah, it's hard to sell with network stuff like that. I keep meaning to reboot the router before I do anything, but I forget. Oh, the PS4 now has a true Twitch app, and it's so nice. I can actually watch DDO stream on my TV from the PS4 now. Oh, it's so much nicer than having to watch it on one of the PCs or hook one of the PCs up to the TV. Not really a fan of the way it looks, but it also it looks the same as the iPad app, basically. So the chat box is all white, no matter how dark and dingy the uh, stream actually is, plus all the black bars around it and stuff. Hey, look, timing. Looks like we're not even gonna try for the chest because of the uh, traps. Yeah, I got other stuff to do. I have a bunch of pets to visit with. I got mobs to kill, quests to do. Plus, the router's all the way upstairs, you know. healer. Stay well back from that because I'm not uh, confident about my 
reflect or I'm confident my reflex saves aren't great. Let's put it that way. That's my confidence. Firewall and kite. We're going to go up here. I'm going to go ahead and get the rubble. <clears throat> yeah. I often have streams on while I'm playing. As a background. Oops. Grats, Titan. Nice. We're doing Wiz King after this. Yeah, for level 20, it's really nice. I want one on my main, but I haven't got one yet. I still need to do a couple more quests to get that last bit of favor on Shaw. Wow. 
Well, obviously you need SOS. Isn't that the pick? Whenever you need a uh, sword. Epic Sword of Shadows. Which I do not have my on this character, but on my main I have one. What can I hit the root with that will actually damage him? Oh good, acid will work. Oh yeah, Von 5 and 6 are awesome. Is king. I died a couple times. Quick stop in the ship. To sell and repair. I 
Sigurvin. Yeah, I really enjoy Vaughn 5 and 6. Oh, well, Vaughn 5 mostly. Vaughn 6 is just something to get through. It isn't that great, really. Vaughn 5 is amazing, though. It took me a while to learn it, but once I learned it, yeah. I really enjoy it now. Ooh. Well, actually, you could solo it to learn it. Take your big character into it on uh, Heroic Normal. And you can learn most of it. Uh, can you do most of it? You need quite a bit of it. You need at least two people, preferably four, to get the north doors done easily. It's possible to do with two people, but I find it easier with at least two people on each side. My guild did a run of that, a teaching run, a while back. It was good. Yep. Soloing is a good way to learn quests. What I'd like is somewhere to practice the uh, Mario bit of uh, the Shadow Dragon Raid. Oh, that too, but I mean, again, if your epic character are doing the heroic, you should have enough to get through it all, I would hope. Oops, I got ahead of him. <laughs> I mean, the, the problem is that you're gonna you have to have one person on each side for that north doors part. That's where you're gonna run in trouble. Hmm. Yeah. That's one thing I really liked about the static group that my guild did. We did uh, every quest in the game. Well, we're still doing it. I can't say we did because we're still doing it. But the static group was doing every quest in the game at level on Elite 
where possible. So we did them all. Can't have hirelings in raids. So it's taken us a while. It's been over a year, but uh, we've done almost everything in the game on uh, Elite at level. And we've tried everything, I think, at level at Elite. If we didn't succeed, we may have gone in on normal or we may have waited and come back later, but we've at least tried everything. I'd still go and play once a week for a couple hours. But it's a lot of fun to you know, know that you're doing all the quests like that. Meanwhile, we created Warlocks, and they're already past level that our static group other static group characters are on. And we play them the same once a week. So <laughs> if you don't have that restriction of having to do every quest in the game, you can level a lot faster than we have. Of course, some people are third life, some people are first life, so there's a big difference there, too. Yep, you can do some from the leveling guides. You can, oh, let's see, where's my recall button? There we go. You can try just zerging the stuff you know. We had been doing just somebody pick, so either, hey, you, it's your night to pick, or, you know, everybody gets one pick a night kind of thing. And because we're warlocks, and we were all warlocks, we're just blowing through content really quickly. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I get stuck a lot when, on my a lot of my characters, especially in certain level ranges, because I really don't like giant hold. I really don't. Hey, another person to ban. Isn't that cool? All right, so that's one of the things I wanted to do. And Fire and Thunder Peak Hard Mark of Death. Well, it should, nope, I don't want to do that. I would really like there to be a Vaughn 5 or 6. I haven't seen those up. Of course, I really haven't been looking for them lately. I usually join a Vaughn 5 or 6 if they're up. I just, I don't like getting to the quests. I don't like the quests particularly. But unfortunately, at certain levels, that's the main XP source. So... I do them from time to time. OK. 
cure me of various ailments. Let's wait for the timer. Yeah, Vaughn 3 is nice. I like I love Spies in the House. That's one of my favorite quests. Oh, it's such a fun quest. Granted, it wasn't the first time, or the second time, or the third time, or maybe even the fifth time, but once I got the hang of it, love Spies. Vaughn 1 isn't bad, but it isn't great either. Vaughn 2 is interesting. I like Vaughn 4 as well. It just... You know... Yeah... Yeah, I was thinking about doing some solo night revels on Shaw. I still want to get those stupid last favor bits I need, though. Oh, look, there's a giant hold. Yeah, but you can invis through half of Vaughn 4 anyway, or a quarter of it anyway. I guess half of it's pretty much the end part in the run. The first half is the two corridors. So maybe a quarter, that one quarter you can invent Surg through and back. The other one, pretty much invent through that one too, I think. The trap's the only painful part that I remember. That one trap lever. And getting through isn't too bad. The puzzle can be annoying when you, if you solo. Nice to have a hireling or pet to distract the oozes and stuff. No, I got him. Most of the time stuff in this game gives you plenty of time. It's not like it's, you know, you have two minutes to do this. It's like, oh, you have 45 minutes, an hour to do this. Okay, that's reasonable. I haven't run out into too much that I've run out of time for. Of course, challenges once in a while. Don't have quite enough time to get done what you want to get done in them. Um... Man, this character just... I need to do something about this character. Oh, hey. There's free feet respects, aren't there? Maybe I should use some free feet respects to do something with this character. Oh, yeah, the fire alleys. Uh, I'll probably just not do anything about it. Do what I need to some other way, like actually heroic reincarnating this character at some point. Possibly, I don't know. Alright, I think I'm going to switch characters. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to switch characters. Let's put myself promo bit up here real quick. Switch over to...
That's a good point. I could look at my uh, static group characters as well and do some tweaking there. I've really only been popping on briefly to do some the daily XP grind and popping back off. I really haven't done much character inventory management stuff. And I thought I logged out. <sighs> Who should I bring on? Well, let's bring on Coily. Bring quit on. I've been having a lot of time issues for a while. So I don't necessarily think it's related. In fact, my bard it takes quite a while to log in and out. Of course, it's also my bank character, so it could have something to do with it. Speaking of lag, holy heck, what a lag spike. I don't know if that affected the stream at all, but I got a huge lag spike right there. Um... Well, let's see what I did today. Let's ransack. Yeah, I've got negative 40 on the spies. So I've run spies already twice today. Oh, but look! There's a chamber of Ryum. How convenient. Hello. Nope. Haven't really been playing at that time, so I have not noticed that. Yeah, how dare work get in the way of our playtime. That's so annoying, the way that does that. I tell you, work is really cramping my style as far as getting stuff done in game. On the other hand, it allows me to, you know, keep my house and car and stuff. Oh, don't forget pets. Pets take a lot of time, too. And kids, for those who have. But, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm a software tester, so I understand that you can get really sick of the thing you use every day because <laughs> it's your job. 
So I don't know if either I was a gameplay tester or I uh, was a full-time streamer if I'd actually survived doing that for long. Because work is work, fun is fun, and when they cross, it can be good or bad. Yep. I mean, uh, people obviously make their living off of streaming games and it works for them. I'm just saying personally, I don't know if that would work for me. Right now it's fun, you know, once or twice a week to be streaming. And an additional twice a week with my guild I record but don't stream. I don't put that stuff up for public view at their guildmates request. But, uh, you know, You never know. I might find a way to make it work. Even if I'm getting paid, I have a hard time doing things that don't interest me. So it's important for me to find some way to make what I'm doing interesting. That's funny, I'm sneaking so he can't. Goliathon, who got in on the initial Destiny rush, and now they're, you know, like the some of the top people that stream Destiny, and they make their living off that stuff now, which is awesome for them. I'm happy for them, but I don't know. I mean. Playing even my favorite game eight hours a day every day of the week. At some point, that gets old. You know, what if I want to play something else? And they really haven't been able to play anything else. Not that they've necessarily wanted to do much else, but they really haven't played anything else much since uh, that. This sucks. I hate this dude right here with passion. Dude right there. Right him, right there. Him? I hate him. Now I'm stuck and I can't get out of this and I'm mopped and I'm going to die. All because this jerk won't get out of my way.
Hey, Iron Hands, how's it going? Yep. I mean, that's cool, too, that people get the opportunity to do that kind of stuff. Get the new games early and like I got a copy of Secret Ponchos the day before it launched for free because one of the streamers I was watching was playing it and giving it away. So that was cool. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. I saw that the new Isaac DLC is coming. People are starting to get it on Steam, early access. So that'll be fun. Isaac's one of the things that I started watching Twitch for. Huh, his res actually uh, restored my dragon marks. That's cool. Don't Starve and Binding of Isaac are the two things I really started watching Twitch for. Let's see, how are people doing all that stuff in those games? Because I'm not getting very far. Actually, I don't know if I even had the games at that point. I think I had Isaac. I really didn't understand what it was all about until I started watching some of the speedrunners. I was like, oh, this is cool. All right. Interesting to watch them play this stuff. See you, Titan. Well, I've got two laptops in the coffee table right here. I use one to watch chat 
And uh, I have Chatty up on that one. It's easier to watch chat sometimes and be able to uh, ban as necessary and such. And then uh, play on the other one. But then I also have two other screens available. I have two TVs here in the same room. One with a PS4, PS3, and Xbox 360, and an OUYA, and the other with a PS3, a 360, and a uh, Wii. And now that Twitch has an actual app on the PS4, I can actually watch whatever I want on Twitch. Usually, it used to be a, you can only watch stuff from PS4 on PS4 for Twitch, which was really annoying. But thankfully, they've fixed that. Now you can actually watch whatever you want, including DDO. We watched this one guy, Buna Spiro, play Don't Starve quite a lot. He's amusing to watch. But, um, yeah, so I've got four screens available, plus my iPad now, plus i got two Android tablets, plus a phone. You know, plenty of screens to watch stuff. Yeah, I agree. It works, but it's not as good. I hate when people are rude and ruin my uh, sneak attack experience. That's rude. Yes, it can be. Some virtual keyboards are better than others, but yeah, in general. Oh, I love that I have this now. It's so much nicer to walk up to something and, hey, look. Disarm it. No real thought necessary. Don't have to stop and search, you just see it and go. I just think it's funny that he doesn't wake up because I'm sneaking. Sneaking, he doesn't see me. Just the Mario part. The rest of it I don't care about, but I keep getting stuck on the Mario part, the jump. I have to take a soul stone taxi, which I don't like to do, ideally. I wouldn't do. I don't know how many times I've tried that stupid jump, and I've gotten it once or twice. Twice, I think. I don't remember exactly. Some very low number of times I've actually gotten it. Yeah, it's... 
I somebody told me a trick for it and it worked great once and then I've never been able to replicate it. And then last time I was in there I got up past that stupid run part and I couldn't get up to the final section. So I finally ran back out and got killed in a mirror a beam of light and went that way. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been there with a minute step. That'd be so much easier. Such crap. To be stuck on that stupid room forever. Wow, I don't know how I remain standing there. Hey, look, everybody, I'm cursed. Does leeches remove curse? Nope, disease. Curse. Sounds like the pit to me. The pit's okay. I don't think it's quite as bad as some people think it is, but it's also... It can be annoying. It's another one of those first time or you're in there, it's, Oh my god, what the am I doing? How do I do anything in here? The only other one is uh, Spies in the House. Or, um, no, um, Cold Chamber. Yeah, Cold Chamber. I actually like Cold Chamber. Yeah, it's Cold Chamber. Chamber is not too bad. I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, uh, seriously. It's doing it to me again. I can't get out. Uh. Well, I ran it couple times on Shaw to get the uh, some mats to do green steel so I ran it I don't know five or six times in a row something like that and I got kind of used to how it works and it started thinking hey this isn't too bad I still sometimes need a guide to remember how to do it since I don't run it very often anymore, but of the Veil Quests, it's one of the better ones, I think. It's most it's interesting at least. I can have fun with it. I really don't like the Veil Quests either. What you doing, dog?
Oh, it let me out. Whew. I thought I was going to get stuck in there. I've gotten stuck in there before. It sucks. You have to log out. Can't get out the door. I guess if you had teleport, you can teleport out, but I don't get teleport all the time. Yeah, it's you can get through it pretty fast once you either well once you get the hang of it and then you use it one of the guys that just say, Okay, go here, go this way, do this, do this, this. And it's pretty quick. I think I was doing it in twenty five, thirty five minutes, something like that. Solo. Once I got into it it wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, the Canis boots. If I only had those. <laughs> That's true. First try. Yeah, we're at five or no six forty four. So yeah, one of our uh, clocks is actually on the old daylight time, so it automatically changes basically with the UK, which is great because our guild is in the UK and they switch time differently. But uh, yeah, I'm just looking at it now. It's like, oh hey, it's five forty five. Wow, that seems early. No, it's 6.45. Well, that. Alright. Nice. Yeah, I, I can't find anybody to do those quests. That whole house sea chain is really rare. You see an LFM for it. Of course, our guild's going to do it at some point here shortly. So I'll have that. But other than that, yeah, it just doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. Again, that's another area where I don't like it enough to solo it. So it just doesn't get done. Such a tiny character. I need more solo characters and less characters that rely on a group. <laughs> or I need more static groups or something. So I love my guild. I really do. They're fun to play with and all that, but they're... First of all, most of them are in the UK, so there's a time difference. And second of all, there's like six others in the guild that log on for our guild nights and that's about it so it can be rough finding group for stuff oh plus two re what's my reflex out right now my reflex is only 49 i could use more reflex I 
Colonus. T land. Plus one the attack and damage roll sounds nice. Oh, I should probably uh, go to the spirit binder guy. Go, whatever. What? Squishy apple cherry semi sweet cider. <sighs> I might have to try that, but I would go in expecting to not like it, I think. My favorite cider is still the Angry Orchard Sinful Apple. That is where it's at for me. That's the best. Mm. Truth in that city. Very true. Well, huh. I was planning on playing more, but uh, I'm not getting a whole lot of love from the uh, LFMs. I'm all about the tart slash sour stuff. That's what I really like. Uh, let's go ahead and bring Shaw on out. Shaw on today. Oops. Uh, chat. Where's chat? All these windows. There we go. So many windows. Uh, I'll check at our local amazing store that carries a bunch of stuff and might pick that up. Oh, hey, I guess what I was doing last. Looks like I'm not the only one. I guess I could do a defiler if it's still going. No, one person. Wow, five mark of deaths in a row. Whew. Yep, Night Rails will be back tomorrow after the outage. If you didn't hear, there's going to be a downtime tomorrow from 8 to noon, and then there will be Night Revels after that, supposedly. Yeah, a lot of stuff is too sweet. I don't really like mod in the first place, let alone to do it that many times in a row. Blah. Yeah, according to the downtime notice in the forum, which let me find that and post it real quick. I was going to do that earlier and I forgot. I found it and then I never did post a link. Oh, cheesecake's awesome. Love the cheesecake. And cheesecake, the really, really good cheesecake is the ones that's really light 
and then it has some caramel, has just a little bit of chocolate sauce, caramel sauce, and then a little little dabs of different fruit sauces. And oh man, that is so good when it's done just right like that. That sucks. I'm pretty sure both of our static groups this week are going to be Night Rebels. We play on Thursdays and Sundays, so. Oh, God. Hate garlic. Hate, hate, hate garlic. Yeah. Just for posterity, I'm going to Yep, garlic turns me right off, as do tomatoes. Most cheeses as well. Yeah, I'm fortunate that even though my guild's mostly European, they play late at night, so it's after work for me. I was worried about that. I kind of figured they'd start way before me, but it didn't turn out that way. Yeah, I'm light sensitive. I don't like garlic. Guess what people call me? E chronoscope. Oh man, just nothing interesting in the LFMs tonight. So, here's my problem. As you can see by my adventure log here, I have done all this stuff on Elite or Epic Elite. I'm missing Stealer of Souls, Monastery of the Scorpion, Hound of Zoriat, Vision of Destruction, Lord of Blades, and Brothers of the Forge. Those are the ones I haven't done at all. And there's a couple that I've only done on normal or hard, or epic normal or brick hard. But the reason that's a problem is this. I'm at 4,944. Out of 5,000 favor for a plus 5 tome. I need 56 favor to get that tome. And that's really the only thing holding me up from doing a heroic and then, or I mean epic and then heroic TR into a uh, iconic. So yeah, I really want to get this stuff done on, not so much the upper end stuff, I don't really care so much, just whatever combination of any of this stuff either that I haven't done or I've done a normal to get uh, that favor out of it so that I can get that tome. But I've tried some of this stuff in groups, I tried it solo and failed. The lowest level thing I have is either Steel, well, Monster of the Scorpion, which is a real pain to solo. I've tried it and failed several times. And Steeler Souls is after that. I can't do that until I finish Monastery. So that's out. Hand of Zoriat failed utterly. The one time I finally got in a group that finally got all the way there with most of the members and tried it, we failed. Vision of Destruction, I don't think I've ever been in a group for that. That's at all. Tower Despair, we did on normal. I did that with Cordovan and even. Lord of Blades, that was an hour of my life wasted last time I tried that. Got nothing out of it. Um, the houses, I understand some of them are easy to do on Elite. Just uh, not really, I don't really know them well enough to solo. Caught in the web. Eh. Precious Cargo, I soloed that on Epic Normal. I don't remember. 
definitely need a group for that. Study and save will definitely need a group for that. Yeah, I was the tank on Hawks, and it didn't work very well. Well, I mean, I could do some of them, I guess. I just, again, this is character and soloing challenges, isn't it? I've soloed uh, the Underdark stuff. Got four and five stars there. Great Tree, I was able to get four and five stars there soloing. I guess I could do Daybreak. See ya, city. Have fun. The thing here, I was counting on these to be like, okay, I've done at least like Hawks and Vod, which gave me enough to get me close. I'll just do, knock off a challenge or two to get that last bit that I need to take me over the line. Not the, to uh, actually try to get four and five stars soloed on some of this stuff in Epic. I guess I could try the Cobalt Island stuff. Let's see, that's... Yeah, at four or five, I need to do ten, twelve of them. Ugh. And really, I haven't felt like doing challenges lately. I really haven't felt like doing challenges at all. Well, that's the problem. I've already done the the two. The underdarks I've done, done the I've already done the grove. So what's left? Just Ruin Keep? That's between 8 and 10. It still won't get me there. Hey, Moffle. Haven't seen you in a while. Seen you on Steam, but I haven't actually seen you on stream. Are you streaming on one of your other IDs or something? So, yeah, I still need, even if I did some challenges, I'd still need something else up here. Preferably Lord of Blades, Brothers of the Forge, Vod, Hawks, one of those. Monastery, Steeler. Need something in that realm to get me enough that the challenges would take me over. Yeah, no one's biting on any of that stuff. Definitely not me. So, yeah. Oh, and I guess I can... While I'm here... Where is it? Nope. There it is. See Epic Sword of Shadow. Nice iron hands. Yeah, I mean, I know most. I know how to do most of them. I really don't get the whole Rushmore's Mansion stuff, but the rest of them I've done most of them at least once and understand the basics of how to do them. So, yeah, if anybody wants to run through those or any other stuff that I need, just hit me up with when. And I'll be good. I'm looking forward to that. I want that tome, although I was looking at this the other day. I don't know where to put it. So I've got a three on strength. I've got four on dex. I've got four on con. Five already on int. Four on wisdom. And four on charisma. So, what? If I want pure best increase, I'd go strength, because that gives me plus two instead of plus one. Because back when I created this character, it was before the armor pass, and you needed evasion to survive. And I haven't reincarnated this, reincarnated, I haven't heroic true reincarnated this character at all. So, until I hit 27, I use 
the uh, Sun Soul set and Monk evasion and stances and stuff to get the bonuses and survive that way. And once I get up here to 27, I get the Orchard gear. I put that on and go heavy armor. Excuse me. Yeah, you know, I've done Rushmore a couple times and I've watched various videos and I've looked at various threads and maps and stuff and I just haven't internalized the map. So, yeah. Yeah, losing the MRR hurt. PR is still nice though. And I guess I could go look at my feats and swap one to the one of the uh, uh, tactical ones or something. That's not a bad idea. Why don't we do that? Yeah, I'm still not sure. We were talking about this the other week, and it seems like what happened was the armor got too balanced. So evasion and armor were equivalent, which you know, it wasn't bad because then you had a choice. But I guess they felt that too many people were going armor instead of evasion, and now... We've, we've, we're in this state where it doesn't really make that much sense. But uh, we have what we have. Take UMD out. So do I want the heavy armor combatant then? Do I want heavy armor training? No. So I want heavy armor training probably. No. Come here, we're combatant. It gives me plus six PR and MOR. I've soloed most of the challenges. Which ones can't you solo? Oh, stupid. Now I got recently. Uh. I'm going to take my drill training off. See what I can get in that. Oh, well, yeah, if you're trying to get five or six stars, yeah, then I agree. But if you want just to get materials, you can solo most of them. That's what I was thinking. Oh, I don't know. Let's get heavy armor training. We... Now I get to take all my stupid enhancements again. Let's see if I remember how this goes. Yeah, for the stars, I agree. If you just want to... Uh, get some materials then you don't need to worry about it you can get it pretty easily solo with the right build yeah 
Yes. You do get some really nice first time stuff. What am I not getting that I normally have here? Doing this from memory, so I may screw up. That looks about right. Of course, now it screwed up my bars, which is stupid because they, they came back, so I have the same stuff. Anything else I need there? I don't think so. I think I'm back to where I was. Only I should have a little bit more PR and MRR now. Yeah, a little bit. Woot. That may or may not have been worth it. Um... Hey, Mr. Gimp, how's it going? It's a notorious GIMP, everybody. Wise man. The Gimpiest. Oh. Why not? I just have something extra to do tonight. Yeah, I'm still trying to get that last bit of favor I need on Slonis. Yep. Was I in this group earlier and they were doing this? I think so. An orchard and uh, I got a lot of cove gear that I'm not using. I don't need to restore more of that. So yeah, that last 46 favors are what I'm looking for. Think about doing challenges for it. I might as well go ahead and do those Evening Star challenges. Those last two that I haven't done yet, the uh, Ruined Keep ones. I did those on somebody. I don't know which character that was that I did those. Oh, do you think I have Consecrate enough times on my bar? I just realized I have it three times there. That's um, plenty.
This run is purely in case I get any loot. Start getting hit there. I'm getting sort of some four digit numbers in there. Survey says nothing. Epic locked and loaded. Which I will take since I passed on earlier if nobody else wants it. I think I'm still trying to try that uh, Paladin Orlock build. But uh, the Porcupine, I would call it a Blade Lock, but in the forms it's a Porcupine. Well, thanks, Gary. I like it. Especially when you're doing like a tutorial kind of thing. It's handy for people to be able to see what you're doing. And if you're not familiar with the game, it gets you a sense of how many buttons I'm pushing and all that. It clears up the screen a bit, but it adds the experience, I guess. I'm still not seeing much in the way of LFMs tonight. So again, a month, Lanus. Looking to do a couple specific things to get the last bit of exp or a favor I need. Oh, I guess I'll go to Evening Star and try those challenges. 
I think that's probably the best thing to do at the moment. I just realized something. I, I respect with that free because of the feats. And uh, really, I could have done without that. Uh, some of the uh, enhancements that I took. Because I'm at the point now where the monk isn't going to help me. So going full Kensei isn't maybe the best move anymore. All right, so challenges. What do I need to do? Hey, Vornami. How's it going? The only problem with that, Iron Hands, is that I don't really want to sit here and wait for people to join LFM on stream. Maybe another night I will do it. When I'm not streaming. Try a grove. Ruin keep. They're there. Yeah, I could respect, but again, I don't want too much, too much on stream right now. I'll think about it for later, though. All right, let's try Sunset Ritual, then. I think I remember how these go. Basically, stick here for most of it. And pretty quickly, guys, come down and try to kill him. Like, really quickly. Good, good. I don't remember what point you want to go looking for trouble, though. I know there's a point which you want to go looking for the some of the star things. But I don't remember what point of the nine minutes left that I have those are. Oh, and you also want to look for the firewood? Is that the one? Yeah, the... Whatever the wood is to get the ballista back up. I think that's not till halfway through. You can't rely on those guys to do anything, really. I don't see any of the people out here. Ah, there it goes. There's one of them. Nope, not out here. So it's a combination of running back and forth to check on stuff. Well, keeping everybody up here alive. Lay down, dog. Lay down. Ah, uh, there's one of them. Oh, he's a bag of points, isn't he? All 
Ah, uh, there's the ballista one. I knew it activated somewhere. <laughs> well, I got a guy that's a bag of hit points here that I'm trying to kill. I'm kind of busy. I might fail this because I'm stuck doing this while dude's getting attacked. Oh, good. One of the knights got him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is everything has to happen right at the same time? Come on. Fall, you stupid fool. That means both knights are down. Oh, the good thing is that the werewolves are behind me. Nope, I failed. Didn't pay attention to him. Let's try that again. This is the, uh, what's it called? The memorial ribbon. After the Boston bombings, they sold this for a short time in the TDO store, as I understand it, for support. Since they were in Boston, of course. No, I've done this before, well, on Heroic, I think. I've done this before solo. But I worked out the timing to get the stars. You have to defend him at certain points, and then at certain points you have, you're free to go do stuff. And I just didn't get the timing right on that. Well, plus, I think he has quite a few more hit points on him. Epic. I might try to skip that one because it takes a longer to do it later. Well, I don't know because the werewolves, they're pretty vicious. Yeah, obviously it's easier. Oh, you know what I could do? I could give myself a little bit of help. That should help just enough, hopefully. Hey, Tirith, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Glad you stopped by. I am a fighter monk. Kensai. Which, somewhere around here I've got, nope, this one, nope. It's this one. My build is up on there. If you are interested in knowing more about it, Playing Shalana right now. See, Iron Hands, thanks for stopping by. Hope your evening goes well. Nope. The other thing is, I think I was on my challenge farmer monk and I was running a lot faster which made it easier to cover the ground it makes a huge difference when you can run a lot faster and this one in particular all right let's try this again Let's 
go that, that, hello, that, 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 and that. So I'm doing as much damage as I can at the moment. I think I've got everything on. I didn't forget power attack. Please. Yeah, it can be difficult to find the one that's perfect for you, or the one that you enjoy playing the most. Monk and Warlock are really fun to play. I've had fun with this, but it's not something I necessarily recommend. I hope the Fighter Pass, the true Fighter Pass, gives uh, some more survivability to fighters. Well, this is also good because I got guys spawning all around me. That's going to help take them off the other guys. What? Okay, I, I don't understand that. I've got the two knights, plus I had the owlbear and the panther sitting there on him. And he still went down. I might have to st skip the star for a dude, or have some help. One of the two. There's a Vaughn up. Let's see if I get in that Vaughn. Oops, wrong. I've got so many windows, it's amazing. Um, who do I want? We'll go Bard. See if I can get in this group, which I probably can't because it was pretty full. But I'm going to try anyway. Tear fire of a can arch of meddling arrows. Hmm. Well, Muffle, get to playing instead of what have you been playing? You've been playing Dota, haven't you? Some non Steam version of Dota. It's still, uh, yay, I made it. Thought for sure somebody else is going to get that last spot. Yeah, I've seen people in the forums. I was looking at people discussing what was best to go with the Six Ranger. Do I have to stance or anything? I don't even know where what I'm doing. Uh, is Dota not normally uh running in sixty four bit? Well I've seen you on Steam playing that, so I knew there was something going on. Ah, uh, I see. Well, there's plenty of classes to choose from and try and hopefully enjoy. Just missed that. That's the, one of the best things about DDO is all the stuff you can try. Oh, are we going north now? We're going north now. I'm trying to keep up with what's going on. 
I don't know what I can survive or what I can trigger over here. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. I can do any of them. Yeah, it sucks when you do get a build you don't like on your main. Well, so you want to do that? I'll do this. Trying to pay attention to when we go here. We've missed it several times. You should go wisdom, 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 and wisdom, and then con, 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 and then whatever you have left over. Put in charisma or strength. At least to me, that would be the best thing to do. I would look up maybe some cleric builds and see what the general consensus is, but because Wisdom is your primary casting stat, usually you want to max that out. And Con is always good. You don't need much an in Int. You could always use Dex, but you probably shouldn't put much in it. Charisma only if you're going to actually do turning which means you're going to be turning spec, which means you're going to lose a lot of other things. No green steel, huh? I don't have knock, do I? No, I don't have knock. Well, I mean, you could go, try to go melee, and then go a different path, but... Uh, I don't know. I can't really say too much about clerics because I haven't built a cleric that I've liked yet. So I don't like DDO clerics for some reason. Cleric is usually normally my favorite class in any role playing game. I love clerics, but for some reason DDO, I haven't had fun playing a cleric.
right, I'm supposed to pick the lock with a zero open lock. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I, the best thing that my cleric was doing was keeping the barbarian I was playing with alive. That was... I just recently respect and I haven't really played it since. I try to go more light alignment spell power and use some of the light SLAs and stuff. And supposedly that's supposed to work better than what I was trying to do with melee. Because I was hitting for like five. It was nothing. It's hardly doing any damage. So. Yeah. I'm not a good person about clerics. If you want to know who is, though, um, Dags, who streams Minion Monday and also has streamed with me some, or been on my party when we stream from KNF on Friday sometimes. He's an ex excellent cleric player. So you might get some information out of him as to what other possibilities there are for clerics. But uh, personally, haven't yet found one that I've enjoyed playing. They get a lot of fun of spells, but not really great in melee, the couple that I've tried. Let's see, we want to go this way, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah, and maybe it's not worth going pure. Maybe you should splash something, I mean, like Cleric Fighter or something, or, I don't know, some way to get more melee power. I'm playing Shlana, or no, this is, uh, that's right, I'm not playing Shlana anymore. This is Gooeyweed. This is my uh, bard swashbuckler, which used to be my, uh, last update was last week. There's a patch last week. There's going to be more another hot fix tomorrow. Um, and the big thing that's coming up is uh, going to Epic Vale and Epic Green Steel level 30. What else has come by the end of the year? Something like that. So yeah, um, this used to be my Hagglebot bank character, who took such great things as skill focus Haggle, and such like. Um, so basically built to be storage and to sell stuff for greater, and also, also my crafter. You'll see my crafting levels are at 130. Um, and finally, at one of the um, Heroic XP bonus weekends, I happened to get in some groups. Maybe it was a TR train or something and got up to Epic and eventually ground up to uh, Cap. Now I'm filling in Destinies. And uh, yeah, 
Actually, it's fun to play since I respect into a swashbuckler. It's kind of the um, Count of Monte Cristo build on the forums. Not quite exactly, but it's along those lines. And it's actually fun to play now. Now that I have some gear and all that, it's fun to play. And fairly survivable. I still get in trouble here and there. I need to get some more Thunder Forge going here. That would help a lot. I'm seeing this is Mutant Age Blades most of the time. I do have a Thunder Forged. Yeah, who needs to survive? Pfft. Survival. Now somebody's got something to get us through here. It's not me. There we go. All right, this is Rusty's. I do have a. I have an unbound mukbane. Somebody's got a D-Door. Oh, you know what? I have a D-Door. How about that? Completely forgot I was on my bar and have a D-Door. Alright, this is going to be my last one for the night. So. Keep that in mind if you are watching now, which I do appreciate, but, oh, man, excuse me, I want to do other things with my evening, and, uh, pretty much been playing since I got home, aside from a little bit of dinner, walking the dog, all that stuff. I don't even know why I'm still in Primal. I shouldn't be. Hey look, Ladder Glitch. That's cool, Wiseman. Yeah, I think I respect into something that like that and uh it uh just haven't gotten around to playing it. So I don't know how it performs. I was half cast or half melee before and it wasn't working at all. What? You gotta call ahead for your cleric? You are Gimp, aren't you? Jeez. Gotta make an appointment for your cleric to revive or something? An hour ahead? Man. I don't know if I'm gonna die an hour ahead. Oh, thus far I have not been buffed, because again, I forgot I was playing my Cleric. I was still going as if I was uh, playing my fighter.
That is not great for fiber. I will agree. You've got stupid fast connection, though. So even though you've got some latency, whatever you're transferring gets there, comes back really fast. Getting some lag. Lag. There you go, hundred and forty two K. Not horrible. Got me two pips in Primal Avatar level 5. That's nice. Oh, it looks like we're on EE for Von 6. Yay. So many buffs. I have played around with three Warlock builds. I have the Morning Lock. Let's see, where's my Morning Lock? And then I played around with uh, my own build that I that I don't recommend anybody. <laughs> it's a half work, two favored soul, eighteen warlock, melee or a build that works okay-ish. And then there is um, what I would call a blade lock. It's called I think the porcupine in the forums that I've played around with, and it's pretty fun. In fact, I think I'm going to tear my main into that one at some point. Those are the three Warlock builds I've played with. And they are all fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Twitch has notifications. And I don't run uh, DDO through Steam, so... Yeah. It's an idea. I pretty much am on every Tuesday, almost every Tuesday, and then the other time I'm actually on streaming on my own channel is on Fridays. If we get the uh, 
group going for that, which we do sometimes, sometimes we don't. We're on Canif on Fridays when we do that. Um, I would not go morning lock then. Um, the, it's really meant to get up and running quickly on a server that's not your home server. So it relies on the morning lord um, starter gear and the light spell power from cleric. So you could do it with the cleric, but I think without that you're better off doing basically the same thing only going pure warlock because the warlock uh, core for uh, is it enlightened spirit is really awesome and you can also I don't think I put the newest version of it up but I have a version that with shining through that's I also would recommend because shining through is ridiculous <laughs> It's amazing. All those extra hit points you get. So. Yeah, there's some options. Delving suit. Whatever, someone else can have it. I saw short, short sort of sat, shadowing and th thought it was, or shattering and thought it was the sort of shadows. Okay, so done with that. That was a bit of XP, yay. Yeah, you're going to want to take as much Warlock as you can when you splash most of the time. Um, because of those core abilities um, it's going to be worth your while in most cases to go all oh, inventory slots are full what the crap oh look i have some xp i didn't take yet there we go why won't it let me take my heart seeds the answer is lag. Lag is why it won't let me take my heart seeds. That was annoying. All right. So yeah, um, there's a couple ways to go about how you're doing the Warlock, but I really recommend Warlock in general. It's a lot of fun. You feel really powerful. You can do some ridiculous things, uh, either solo or even in a, if a group, if somebody else has the aggro, you can do a lot of damage. I rely mostly on Utter Dark, Blast, and Chain Shape. <laughs> yeah, Skunk, that's pretty ridiculously true. If you're just doing favor runs and you don't care about any of the optionals ever, you're just concerned about getting to the end of the quest as quickly as possible, then yeah, you can do some stuff. Oops, I don't want that one. It's silver. Oh, yeah. Seed runs, yep. It's another instance where you don't care and just, yeah, farming for loot again, don't care about XP. Yep. It's amazingly refreshing to do those runs. It's like, wow, I don't care about XP at all now. This is kind of a different way to play. Yep, there is. There's another Vaughn. Oh, yeah.
I don't think I'm going to do that. I could switch over to Coily or Var and do that. But I don't think so at the moment. I think I'm about done for the evening. So I would like to say thank you to everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I had fun. Uh, it's the longest stream I've had on Tuesdays in a while. I've been trying to get back into having a day job and then coming home and streaming immediately is a bit of a shock. So slowly we're warm back up to it. But anyway, hope you're having a good evening. Appreciate you stopping by. And uh, as always, enjoy the game. Hope your loot drops are favorable and you get what you want. XP is all good. And uh, hope to see you around again. Um, as you can see on the screen at the moment, uh, I have my own channel. I stream on DDO Stream as part of the community stream team, but I'm also just a regular player. Stream my own channel, mostly DDO, sometimes some, something else. I also have YouTube. I archive all my streams to YouTube, one Twitter, and Steam, of course. So, see you all next time. Thanks and good night.